Hey everybody, um, today I am started working on the, the um, closure for this book and I thought I'd bring you guys along. Um, this is the front of it and I'm going to put this in the back um, and then I'll probably decorate the inside a little. I haven't done any of that. So I originally was going to do um, eyelets and it didn't work. It just went straight through the fabric. I need to get bigger eyelets, I think. So um, I did this first one, so I'm just going to rough where I want it. And Uh, so there'll be a little snowflake on the front and oh, that's pretty even nice snowflake on the back and then I have this thread and as you can see there's not a whole lot of space to get it in there so um, here let me see if I can scooch you guys in so you can see what I'm doing okay so um, I'm using this thread and at first this might go through I don't know I try to just put it through the sides but yeah it doesn't so I took this I don't it has a little ball in the end fits through and I just kind of poke it through um, and it's not really wanting to, hold on. Here we go. Sorry if my head is on. Then I just took a neat pin, grabbed it and Let's pull it through. Then I pull enough so I can get a good knot on there. And I do a double knot. Um, you are welcome to like add a little bit of glue to it to secure it. Um, but I tie knots pretty tight, so I don't normally have an issue with it. Okay, and now I'm just going to get what length I want. There we go. And I like things cut at an angle. I just think it looks a little bit more better. And then, because I don't want these to fray at all, I'm going to take a lighter and just go over it and that seals the end they did have like I bought the other day a device that's supposed to do this it's supposed to cut it and f seal it and yeah I just couldn't find it that's about how things go for me <laughs> so there we go we have our closure and then what I'll probably wind up doing is what I did with the front um, is I will glue it. This is the Fabra Fix. Since I am going putting this on fabric, I do I just do some on one side and some on the other. And then I just hold it down. And that will secure it so that um, it will be all good. Okay, I'm going to move you guys back out so you guys can see the whole page when I'm decorating it. Um, here we go. So... 
here we go. Closure is done. Now, I don't know if I will put dangles on here or not. I just don't know. Sorry if you hear a lot of noise. My kids are home. Um, they're still on break. They have like two weeks off. <laughs> um, and I, th I think, yeah, I put a big opening on that. Okay, so I have all of these, which are like some are cards, some are journaling cards, some are pockets. They just vary. I've done a few things. Um, belly bands that I wanted to work on. Um, so I will be pulling stuff out of there. And some of these are edg edging, just to put on the edge to look cute. Which I think I'm going to do that with this. I think. Um, Yeah, kind of pops on that page. I just need to cut it at the white, this white part. I cannot find my good scissors. I think I took them out to cut stuff and never put them back. <laughs> I hope you guys all had a fabulous Thanksgiving. Um, Ours was fairly quiet. We couldn't do anything or see anyone. Um, Cause we're quarantined. <laughs> Seems like that's my life right now. Sorry, let me move you guys up a little bit more. We tend to be always quarantined lately. So, um, I'm not going to make this a tuck. I am just going to get this where it will, um, the whole thing's just going to be stuck down. I could tuck it, but I kind of like it the way it is. Um, so I am using multiple different digital prints on here. Um, so what I will do is um, link the ones that I have down below um, and I will try to see if I can figure out how to link their physical shop I have no idea how to do that like I think I did it once before but I don't remember how so we will I will try to do that okay that will give a good journal spot right there and so this, um, and I will, I was going to do a, um, thing on how to do this, use this, make these, but, um, this is <laughs> made from <gasps> packing, um, my husband got a desk for a new desk for work um he realized working from home all the time he's gonna need a, uh, he wanted a new desk so um we <laughs> i took the packing paper and started playing with it and made some pockets and stuff with it so much fun um Some of these I decorated on camera, some of these were off camera. I've just been slowly working on this journal um, like that. Okay, so that's to go in and this is big enough. I put two journaling cards and I could probably totally stick more in there. Um, and then when this dries, I will, this will have space for 
a journal spot to put something in there. A tag or whatever. So I, um, I think I want to just put a little something over on this side. Um, just as a, just to enhance, give that page a little extra, like a little cluster or something. Although I just realized I don't really have clusters made. So I might have to make some clusters and just play with those. But I do have, you know what, we'll just add what I have and then we will, um, we'll do another video where I make clusters. Um, so these are for, uh, here. kind of just sew that right there and there is a little tuck spot for something. And I'm going to just glue right a little bit down here and up here. So it's going to hang over a tad. Um, which, because there's so much space at the top and bottom of these, I think that will be okay. Now granted, this is only my second journal I have made, so I really have no clue what I'm talking about. But I have been crafting for a very long time. Um, thank you for all the new subscribers. Oh, I just set that where it'll be upside down. Shoot. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. <laughs> this is the side I want. All right. There we go. So, um, thank you for all the subscribers, the new su subscribers. I really appreciate that. Um, I hope you guys get inspired like I do watching everybody else's videos. Um, I think I might add some red to that to make that pop a little bit. I, um, a little bit about me. I am a avid crafter. I have been making quilts for years. Um, I, I've have quilted for oh my my niece just turned 21 so for 21 years I have been quilting um I'm a mother of two um I started this YouTube channel to help with my distress stress and anxiety which I know kind of sounds funny <laughs> but it has seriously worked <laughs> Um, and I, um, I have two very active children who do not have a disability, thank goodness. And, um, I have, like I said, I have quilted, I have done mini albums, I have done card making, um, kid crafts, you name it, I have practically done it. I've done candle making and card make, soap making, and I haven't done any glass stuff, because that just, that's something I've wanted to do. Um, but just about everything else. <laughs> I have learned a lot of stuff, and I found junk journaling quite a few years ago and realized I can't really, I'm not good at the journaling part. With the dyslexia, it's kind of hard. So, um, I decided that that was something I just didn't want to do. And, um, let's see, I don't know how deep this, oh, that will work. I'm going to have a bigger pocket right, I have a big pocket right there, so I'll have something sticking out that way. 
Um, and then when I realized I can make these and add photos and it collides everything I love, it was, why not? This is awesome. <laughs> so I am going to put this on and then with the day I video, when I video record making the clusters, we'll, um, we will add stuff onto here. So when that dries, I will be putting this cute thing in. Um, that's just a writing. I love adding fabric, and I actually did add some lace into this one. My girlfriend, who this is going to, um, she likes lacy stuff. <laughs> that one or do we want this one? I don't know. What other ones do I have finished? I do have this finished. Um, but I think that needs to be a tuck so that will probably go into another tuck spot. Okay so I have, where is my I have that. These are all journal cards. And I think, well, I want this to have writing, so maybe I will put that right here. And this will have a big pocket, a big, um, actually, I wonder if one of these will, because then you can write on the back of that. Okay, that, uh, I need to make a bigger one to go in there. <laughs> that just fell all the way down and you couldn't see it. So I think I'm going to put this little um, pocket right here. I know I should, I should spread these out and put some down below. But I'm going to be making more of these, more of this stuff. So... There we go. edges. We'll put an edging right here and then um, we can I'll have to trim the bottom and top a tad. But that's okay. Actually it might fit. We'll see. I glued this the wrong way. Of course I did. Because I want it to go. I want that little piece to hang out. So I completely, sorry, glued it the wrong way. How much time are we in? Okay. So I hope you guys um, 
have some fun craft projects going on. It's um, this year, normally every Christmas I make gifts, homemade gifts. I debated and debated about doing it and we're actually doing more for my kids this year than we normally do because they've just been such troopers with everything going on. And um, we, oh, this would look good right here. Let's put that right there. And so we, um, I wasn't, I was debating back and forth. Uh, when I told my son I wasn't going to do crafts because they know my craft room is out of, they're not allowed in here during the holidays. And um, his face fell. You think like I broke Christmas or something. So now I'm going to have to make them gifts. Homemade gifts. <laughs> Which is fine. Um, I, normally, I normally do that for my my um, for Christmas for family. I like to do at least one homemade gift and then other stuff. All right, let's jump to the back here. Ooh, it's got a bit of glue on it. Um. Well, I'm going to put this, wait, where's this? Okay, this is going to get glued right here so I can put little pockets and I have to decorate that. Um, I can totally, this side's hanging over a tad more. Okay, we're going to put that right there. If you can hear, sorry if you can hear my kids, they're watching Hercules. I was working on school, she's finally feeling better. It's like almost everyone's feeling better. Thank goodness. Not fun when you see the pain and you can't fix it. <laughs> it's like the hardest thing to see is your kid being in pain and can't fix it. But she's better now, yay. We still have like a week though that we are stuck in quarantine, <laughs> which is fine. Um, we were um, started pulling out all of our Christmas decorations and all that fun stuff, and my <laughs> I forgot I bought huge. Um, Christmas stocking stuff and like them are Christmas stockings I bought huge ones because they looked like socks and I loved it um, I'm a huge I love socks <laughs> and I never match them I'm definitely known as the sock crazy sock lady because I don't match my socks and um, so we were I, um, I was like, oh dang, I have to, I have to fill these. What am I going to do? And my son's response was, no, you don't, Mom. Santa Claus is quarantined. So you don't have to fill me. <laughs> Which I thought was so hilarious. And I think I might wind up <laughs> using that on him. Sorry, kid. Santa was quarantined. He's just not going to be able to... You know what? I think... Oh, let's fit right here. Oh, look at that. Perfect snug fit. I found its home. Sweet! Um, I think I'm going to use that on him. Santa's quarantined. Sorry. See, and now look. This is getting chunkier with just the little bit I did. Um, which is great. So... 
um, I'm going to call it done for this video. I'm, um, I will be working on, next time I will do work on the clusters and um, maybe decorate some more ephemera to put in here. I don't know yet. So I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving um, if you're watching from the U.S. If you're not, I hope you guys had a great weekend. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and I hope you guys get some crafting in. And I will see you all on the next crafting adventure. Bye.